Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In today's vlog, I'm at the Royal Observatory, Greenwich. I hope you are going to enjoy this video and its eye catching view. This is a very important place for all of us because this is the place from where world time started. What does GMT mean? Greenwich Mean Time is the yearly average or mean of the time each day when the sun crosses the prime meridian at the Royal Observatory Greenwich. Essentially, mean time is clock time rather than solar time. Solar time varies throughout the year as the time interval between the sun crosses a set meridian line changes. But each day measured by a clock has the same length equal to average mean length of a solar day. It's a way of standardizing and regularizing time so we can all know exactly what time it is for our or anyone's location. Today GMT is reckoned for from one midnight to the next. GMT stands for Greenwich Mean Time. The local clock time at Greenwich from 1884 until 1972. GMT was the international standard of civil time, though it has now been replaced by Coordinated Universal Time UTC. GMT is the still the legal time in Britain in the winter, used by the Met Office, Royal Navy and BBC World Service. Greenwich Mean Time is also the name of the time zone used by some countries in Africa and Western Europe, including in Iceland all year round. How did GMT begin? It wasn't until the invention of pendulum clock in 1650s that it was possible to work out the relationship between mean clock time and solar time. John Flamsted came up with the formula for converting solar time to mean time and published a set of conversion tables in the early 1670s. Soon after, he was appointed as the first astronomer royal and moved into the new royal observatory in Greenwich. Here he had the best pendulum clocks installed and set them to the local time. This was Greenwich Mean Time or the average time when the sun crossed the meridian at Greenwich. At first though Greenwich time was only really important to the astronomers. What is a meridian? A meridian is a north-south line selected as a zero reference line for astronomical observations by comparing thousands of observations taken from the same meridian it's possible to build up an accurate map of the sky how did greenwich mean time become the international standard in 1884 the greenwich meridian was recommended as the prime meridian of the world there were two main reasons for this. The first was the USA had already chosen Greenwich as the basis for its own national time zone system. The second was that in the late 19th century, 72% of the world commerce depended on sea charts which used Greenwich as the prime meridian. As the reference for GMT, the prime meridian at Greenwich therefore became the centre of world time as the basis for the global system of the time zones. No, no, it's a bottle. Thank you. 
The views from the hill on which the observatory stands are magnificent with the same ceiling the show are providing a backdrop for the historical buildings for the National Maritime Museum. Look around. There are so many people came here to visit GMT and they are enjoying today's weather as well. I'm enjoying every moment here and I hope you are enjoying too. Keep on watching. Oh yeah. I've just pulled down my sunglasses to get a better view. It's making no difference. Okay, the yeah, just... Look at the amazing view of Canary Wharf in London. Look, people are sitting and lying on the grass and enjoying the sunshine. Come, come, come. Is that London back there? Mamusha! Yes. Is that London back there? Yes. Look at the trees. They look so beautiful. Trees are important for us. So we need to plant more. So I request you, please plant more trees. Make this world beautiful and healthy.
Thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you enjoyed. So subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you.